do you consider yourself toxic? Because you got yourself love. So mm -hmm. do you consider yourself toxic? Like, would you say you toxic? Yeah, I would say that it gets toxic. I'm not trying to be toxic. Though. But are you toxic? Mm. Yeah. P. Diddy has always had a roster. He has always been toxic in business and in his relationships. In this video, we're going to talk about P. Diddy's toxic love life. And this did not all start with Young Miami. Young Miami was just an innocent bystander. She was too young to know exactly who she was dealing with. We see Diddy kind of come on the scene in the early 90s. He even welcomes his first son with Misa Hilton Brim in 1993. And he he was parading Misa around. I, I mean, she was arm candy. He's taking her on a boat. You know, like he's having her at award shows on his arm. You see him dump Misa a few months after she gives birth. And everybody's blown because it's like, what, why? What happened? What went wrong? And how can you leave a woman that just gave birth to your first son? But we later find out he had moved on. He's dating Kim Porter. And him and Kim, they seem to like really be hitting it off and it's all beautiful. And, you know, he cheats. And I think at this point, Kim knew how she got him. Like, she didn't expect Diddy to be the most faithful, uh, devoted boyfriend. So she kind of forgave a lot of stuff. And you'll see that play out in this story. 1998, Kim gets pregnant with yet another boy. So this is Diddy's second son. And in true Diddy fashion, he breaks it off with Kim a few months after she gave birth to their son, Christian. And again... Everybody's like, whoa, what happened? You know, like this, you just had a baby. And then Diddy comes out and surprise, he's dating J-Lo. And mind you, while he was dating Kim, he had her on his arm. They were on the boats. She was at the award shows. All of the things that he did with Misa. J-Lo and him, they get into some type of um, debauchery at a nightclub. And the police are called and a court case ensued and it was a big thing. J-Lo, she chucks up the deuce because she ain't with all this. And Diddy was not being faithful to her because he was cheating on J-Lo with a woman by the name of Sarah Chapman. So J-Lo is like, okay. And even to this day, guys, J-Lo refuses to speak on her relationship with Diddy. She will not do it. Her Kim is still here and now we have Sarah. And it's like back and forth between two main girls. And Kim is hearing whispers of Sarah. She noted in Essence magazine that she heard about Diddy's relationship with Sarah. And eventually Diddy gets Sarah pregnant. Kim has no idea and she gets pregnant too. So at this point, he has two women pregnant with his children at the same time. Someone tips Kim off. They call her phone like, girl, your man got somebody else pregnant. And Kim says she didn't even confront him right away. She waited for him to tell her. She was like investigating and finding out who this girl was and all of this other stuff. She's driving herself crazy. So after, you know, they both have the babies, Diddy starts sleeping with a lot of more models. Even Karen Steffens, that video vixen that slept with everybody in the industry and wrote a book. Yeah, he slept with her too. And he was also sleeping with Lil' Kim. Like, and they had pictures and everything. And it was like, whoa, he's really doing this. And it was in Kim's face because it was in the media. And I'm pretty sure he probably told her the thing that Stevie J told all his girls. Oh, it's just my artist. Kim, she's like, she waited because he had a temper. She said to Essence Magazine, Diddy has a temper. And she was like, yo, I, I had to plan my escape because I didn't want to upset him. And I knew he would try to talk me into staying. And then he meets none other than Cassie. And him and Cassie, they're all at the award show. You know, he's taking her on boats. He's taking her on trips. They were traveling around the world. He's, you know, buying her whatever she wants. And she's Diddy's girl, literally. And you would think, okay. And then Kim 
she's like, no, I'm out. I'm out. So she says, I'm done. No more coming back. No more forgiveness. She packed her bags as soon as he left her out of town and she was out. And this is where Gina Hun enters the picture. So he's with Cassie. He's showing Cassie off. And then he gets with Gina Hun and he's secretly like taking her on trips, buying her all this fancy stuff. We see Gina on the on the private jets with Diddy. Like this is what he does. Gina says she get pregnant. Diddy is so afraid that he's going to lose Cassie that he knocks the baby out of her. Miracle Watts enters the picture as a girlfriend. And Gina kind of gets sidelined because she did an interview that Diddy did not agree with. And she's talking too much about his private life. Cassie, at this point, she meets a trainer. Diddy hires a personal trainer and he comes and he rescues Cassie out of this situation. So she's done. Gina's kind of still teetering and Miracle Watts has entered the picture. And then Diddy starts dating Lori Harvey, even though Lori Harvey had previously dated Diddy's son. Diddy still decides that this is an awesome idea to date my son's ex. And he does. But then Lori realizes that, hey, he's dating Miracle Watts. He's being seen with this girl. He's still like, you know, messing with girls, models, other models. And you know, Lori, she's a model, so models talk. But uh, so she's like, deuce, I'm out. And she gets the hell up out of there. And then he brings in young Miami. And young Miami, she's per she's so happy. She doesn't even realize who he is. And while <laughs> young Miami and Gina Hun are going back and forth on Instagram, arguing over Diddy, making themselves look completely ridiculous, Diddy starts cheating on both of them with Daphne Joy. And Daphne, she's like posting the same form of pictures and videos that show people like, look y'all, I'm messing with this man too. And I don't know, it was a weird flex for a minute where she was proud, well, I don't know, all of the girls, most of the girls, they seem to know you're not going to be exclusive with Diddy. It's just not happening. And Diddy even said he's not going to get married because if he was going to marry anybody, it should have been Kim. She put up with all of his stuff. She had the majority of his kids. I don't know. But, you know, so now you have young Miami, Daphne Joy, Gina Hun, all worried about Diddy. And Diddy then goes and has a baby with a woman by the name of Dana Tran. Nobody even knew. And then not only do he have a baby by Dana, he is like all over town being pictured with different influencers and this and that. And it is a crap show. So as y'all can see, it is not a flex to be Diddy's girl. He has this formula, like parade him around, take him on trips, buy him nice things, and then, you know, waste your time. And then there was a rumor that he doesn't even like people with the same type of chromosome. My name is Daisha Shakila. Thank you for watching. I'm out.